from so you're visiting from Cameroon no actually my husband is visiting from Cameroon I'm here California so I'm visiting from California oh you are from California yes. so I guess you are the right mm -hmm. person for me to ask this no? as a Cameroonian mm -hmm. um, living in the US and you have family visiting you currently from Africa including your husband there are many people just like you Africans working in the US uh, over the Biden Harris administration um, the, they have make um, effort in strengthening the relationship between the US and the continent of Africa uh, can you share your view on what you how you see that relationship and what you hope that it can improve on? Um, I see it. Um, I'll, I'll say Africa and the USA. I'll see it like a, a pair, like uh, a pair of hands, like two hands. Like you, uh, like one hand can all wash itself, you know? You wash this, this hand washes this one, and this one washes this one. So we are hoping for uh, better bilateral relationships, which are going to profit not only the Africans, but also America, because uh, actually it is contrary to popular opinions. Africans still have something they can bring to the table. And we are hoping that, okay, if these relationships are strengthened in the right ways, in the right directions, we can see Africa's input in the United States. And, and on the, okay. vice versa. And on the global stage as well. Of course, it's going to affect the global stage. It's going to affect the, because Africa and the USA are two big uh, powers of the whole world. Like, Come on, Afri you really can't talk about the whole world without mentioning Africa. Africa's input. Yeah, like, without mentioning, and Africa is not just one. It's not just it's one. one. It's not. It's not a nation. It's, it's a not, continent. It's not. It's a continent. Uh, a lot of diversity. A lot of uh, resources. Diverse resources, and so just imagine all of that with uh, America's own resources bring all that together and boom imagine what we can all create it'll be beautiful okay so you are in, in Washington DC mm -hmm. what do you love about living in California living in the US and visiting Washington DC I must commend Cali living in California is uh, it it kind of made my expect, expectation as an African it's an inclusive state like you don't feel left out you don't feel like it's it's really inclusive i would like to mention that it's really inclusive it's kind of home i would like to say it's you kind feel of, at home yeah you feel at home you feel yeah. at home like you get to meet a lot of africans a lot of immigrants with the same goals the same perspectives about life and you just feel welcome yeah. and what do you miss about Cameroon well I don't miss the wars I don't miss you that. do not miss the war yeah, I don't miss that <laughs> and I still have family back home some family back home I miss that I miss uh, the social life it's the community the community life I miss that a lot yeah and I miss the food. I was waiting for that. No, definitely I miss the food. Definitely the food. Yeah. So what if in, in anything, what do you want America to know about your Africa? Um, what I want uh, America to know about yeah. Africa is the fact that... Your Africa. My Africa is the fact that... Um, we, the, our, our, I don't know if I should call it the middle class or the not ruling class. We, we, we have, we have a lot to offer, and 
we can only offer all of this if uh, we are not uh, if we are not uh, shaded as we say by our administrators up there our the big guns like down there people really have things to offer they could do more they can do more we just need the right resources and the right exposure yeah, that's it. And you need um, the what you're saying is you we need leadership that creates opportunities, opportunities that creates like okay enabling screen, environment uh, enabling env environment for people to just thrive. be themselves, thrive and embrace their dreams and sail through. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you.